Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at listening to and installing the Magnaflow Street Series dual exhaust with black tips available for the 2019 and newer 5.7 Ram 1500 with the factory dual exhaust. Now as you just heard from our sound clips, this exhaust is going to give you a super deep tone but not an overwhelming volume. I actually struggled to give this a rating on our loudness meter. I want to put it somewhere between 2 out of 5 and 3 out of 5 on our loudness meter. It's a great daily driver exhaust for someone who's looking to just beef up the sound profile while also keeping things pretty tamed under normal driving conditions. Now when you hit wide open throttle, the thing starts to add some volume to it, but you always know that we don't drive at wide open throttle all the time. So what you're going to expect here is a solid 2 out of 5 on the loudness meter for the most part of your driving experience. Now if you're looking for something with a little bit more volume and aggression and you still want to stick to Magnaflow, their competition option gives you somewhere around a 4 out of 5 on the loudness meter, just for a comparison. Now this guy here is going to use their Magnaflow Street Series muffler, which is essentially a straight through muffler to increase airflow velocity to help you add a little bit more horsepower and torque to your 5.7 without going overwhelming. Doesn't have any resonators in the tailpipe, so you get a little bit more of a deep in cab noise too, but it's not overwhelming. Now, the quality of materials here comes in at 409 stainless steel, mandrel bends to help reduce any airflow restrictions. 409 stainless is that middle of the road option in the category. You have aluminized, which is the most affordable and least durable, 409 in the middle, and then 304 stainless being the highest quality in the category. 409 helps keep cost down a little bit, but it's also going to beef things up. For guys located in wintry weather areas seeing road salt. Everything coming out of the muffler is powder coated in a satin black finish which adds to the corrosion and rust resistance. The muffler there is a polished 409 stainless and then everything behind that is also just bare 409. Now the price comes in right around 900 bucks which makes it a little bit more to the high mid range. Now there are some exhausts that cost right around 11, 1150. This one coming in at 900 it's a little bit more affordable but still gives you some high quality stuff. The install, I'm going to give two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here. There's no cutting, there's no drilling, no welding. It's a direct bolt-on option, which is great for guys not looking to take any of that extra step when they're installing their exhaust. Now, this isn't going to go all the way back to your catalytic converters. Your factory flange pipe coming out of your cats will stay the same. This is going to bolt up right behind your muffler all the way to the tips. Now, I'm going to show you guys every step of the process. It'll take about two, maybe three hours from start to finish. Let's get started. Tools used in this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, 16 millimeter wrench, 15, 16, and 18 millimeter deep sockets, WD-40, and a hanger removal tool. First step here, we're gonna grab our hanger removal tool and pop the hanger off right above our resonator on our passenger side tailpipe. The driver side tailpipe is one piece all the way back to the muffler inlet, so we're gonna attack that later. So for right now, we're gonna do this, and I've lubricated it with WD-40, that makes life a little bit easier. All right, next step, grab your ratchet and your 15 millimeter deep socket, and we're gonna loosen up the clamp holding the tailpipe to the rest of the exhaust assembly. All right, hanger's out of position, clamp is loosened up, let's get this exhaust pipe off. All right, so at this point, we're gonna focus on our driver's side tailpipe. Now, like I said, it's all one piece. I have a pole jack here right behind the resonator just to give it some support once we start disconnecting things. I am gonna remove this tip, however. Removing this tip gives you another foot, maybe foot and a few inches of extra space that you don't have to worry about feeding out of the frame. So we're gonna take this guy off with a 13 millimeter socket. Next, we can pop the hanger out of the isolator using our hanger removal tool right above that resonator. All right, so now we can disconnect the hangers right above the muffler outlet. There's one on each side. Grab your hanger removal tool and get these guys off. Now, as you can see, I have a pole jack here supporting this as well. So we have two different points of support for this exhaust.
Now for this one, it's tough to get the hanger removal tool in here, so I'm gonna use my pry bar to get this guy off. All right, so next up, we're gonna focus on this flange here. Now you could bypass this and go straight back to the cat, but that's a lot of exhaust to take off in one piece, so I'm gonna separate it here. Now, once we have this taken care of, there is one more hanger to remove, but for now, grab your 16 millimeter socket and disconnect these two bolts. All right, now when you pop this guy out of the hanger isolator, this is all gonna come loose, so you wanna be prepared for that. Before we do so, there's a ground strap here. I'm just gonna disconnect that from the factory tubing. All right, so that way it dangles here and we can reconnect it to our new exhaust later. So now we can grab our hanger removal tool and pop that guy off. All right, now you can take this exhaust off. All right, so we got our factory exhaust off of our 1957 Ram, and it's on the ground here next to our Magnaflow Street Series in black. I wanna take you guys through some similarities and differences between the two kits. As far as similarities go, expect OEM fitment. It's gonna fit just like your factory exhaust. It's gonna use the same OEM hanger positioning, have OEM fitment, but as far as the differences go, that's really what I wanna highlight. Starting at the front of the vehicle here, you'll see a similar flange. You're gonna get a new gasket to replace the old one just in case it's in a rough condition. From there, you'll also see 409 mandrel bent stainless steel going all the way back, which is a little bit more of a durable and corrosion and rust resistant material than your factory exhaust. As you can see, there are certain spots on this, like the hangers there, that are looking a little worse for wear. This new exhaust is gonna hold up a lot longer. Great for guys in wintry weather areas seeing road salt. Now the muffler here is their street series option, which is a little bit more tamed than some of their other options like the competition, which is a little bit louder. This is a straight through design, which helps with airflow velocity. The better the velocity of your exhaust gas is, the more power you can expect to make. And it's definitely gonna be the case here. Now if you're looking for something louder, the competition is gonna be the way to go, but I like the street series here as a daily driver. Now moving on from there, you'll also see that it's going from a single outlet to a dual outlet. Now this single outlet from the factory goes into a Y-pipe type of material here. This Y-pipe joint connection here is a huge airflow restrictor. Going from a single entrance to a dual outlet is gonna be doing wonders for airflow velocity. It's reducing that restriction you'd get with that Y-pipe. The rest of the kit you'll see here is black. The black powder coating is a satin finish. It's gonna help with corrosion and rust. 409 is that middle of the road materials, so having the black on top of that just adds to its durability to beef it up a little bit while keeping the cost down unlike a 304 stainless. Moving on, you'll also see that there are factory resonators in place. Not gonna be the case on your Street Series option, but you can see here that there is no resonator at the tailpipe, which is gonna make it a little bit beefier, maybe even a little raspier than your factory exhaust. Finally, your tips are a huge difference. Your factory tips are right around three and a half inch slash cut double walled. Your new tips are five inches each. Huge, huge tips in comparison. They're some of the largest options in the category. As a matter of fact, I don't think there are any larger than five inches. So if you're looking for a big exit, this is gonna be the way to go. Now, as far as install, I wanna start up here with our muffler pipe. We're gonna grab the new gasket included in the kit, slap that guy on, and use our new hardware to bolt it up. All right, so we're kicking off the install here with our muffler. Now you'll see there's hangers on both sides of the muffler. There's one by the flange, which will go here, and then there's two above the muffler outlet. Now I'm gonna focus on these guys first and I'm gonna swing it around, connect it to the other one, and then we can focus on the gasket. All right, lubricating these isolators definitely goes a long way. All right, so with them in place, let's slide this guy in. From here, let's just connect that ground strap. Next up, we're gonna be connecting these two flanges. Now you wanna take the gasket included in the kit along with the hardware. Bolt head is gonna go from the front of the vehicle toward the back. Slide this guy in place. Put this back bolt through, lift up and connect. Grab the washer included in the kit along with the nut and tighten it down. All right, so I'm only getting a couple of threads on there, but that's gonna help hold that in place so I can focus on the other one. Grab your 18 millimeter deep socket and 15 millimeter wrench Hold the bolt head, tighten down the nut. All right, you just wanna make sure you're closing that gap all the way around, and then we can move on. All right, so now we're gonna focus on our passenger side over axle pipe. Put your clamp over the inlet side, slide this guy over the rear subframe, connect it to the muffler outlet. All right, 
So now we can tighten down our clamp once we make sure this isn't touching the frame anywhere. Now you can grab your passenger tailpipe, connect the hanger to the isolator, and then connect your pipe. All right, once you have that seated all the way, tighten down your clamp. All right, now we can basically do the exact same thing for our driver's side, starting with our over axle pipe. All right, last pipe here is our driver's side tailpipe. So let's set that up into position. Once you have that in place, put your clamp in position and tighten it down. At this point, guys, make sure everything's aligned properly. Go back and tighten down all your clamps and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Magnaflow Street Series dual rear exit catback in black, available for the 19 and newer 5.7 Ram with the factory dual exhaust. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.